Hello, welcome back. So I want to continue on with the point I was making last time about moments and scenes in different pieces of media, games, you know, uh, movies, TV shows, books, that kind of thing. Specifically, I do feel like before I continue on with that topic, I should better clarify what it is I'm referring to when I say like a scene or a part. So I talked about that sign about um, building a relationship with the characters. That is definitely part of it. However, it's not all of it. You don't just have to know the characters for it to be an important scene. There has to be stakes. There has to be something you're fighting for. Not merely fighting for, but there has to be something at risk if you lose. Along with that, it could be something personal, which I do think makes the scene better, or it could be something uh, more worldwide, something that affects everyone, or something that affects everyone but the main character. If you can get something personal and something like over overarching, that's probably best, but I feel like it's best if they're separate. Like, say if a world gets destroyed and, you know, the characters on the world so they all get destroyed. Sure, that's bad, but if it's more personal, like, they're going to wipe out a family member and then do something bad to the world. Or if they're going to change that character specifically and have them destroy the world. That's both personal and, you know, affects the world. I feel like that one is better. Just so you know, if you hit one of these heads enough times, the head will fall off. In which case you are essentially forced to target the other head. Granted, I couldn't get it because I kept switching between them. But if you hit one of the heads enough, it will just fall off, so don't be concerned about that. So the scene I want to talk about in gaming kind of encapsulates all of it, I think. It is the scene in... Hold on, let me just... I think this is the Duke. Brightstone Key, Fragrant Branch of Eeyore, Dark Quartz Ring, very nice, all of it. Excuse me. Oh no, I can just use Homeward Bone, why am I going this way? And I can also take this, because this should get me all the way back to Majula, I believe. Primal Bonfire was rekindled. So the scene I want to talk about in gaming is in Persona 5. You can do it either Persona 5 or Persona 5 Royal. I haven't played Royal in ages, so I can't remember specifically the final scene with the very, very last boss. But with Persona 5, I remember this scene with the final boss very specifically. It's a scene against God where he uses all the seven sins and you use Satanel for the first time. And he raises his gun and you raise your gun and you shoot him dead. I love that scene, the slow raising of the gun, Satanel and Joker moving as one. Becoming one and defeating a God for the sake of the world. Everyone coming together, believing in the Phantom. Uh, I forgot what they're called specifically. Phantom Fiends? No, that's wrong. I'll get around to remembering what it is later. I do need to get you up to 8 so I can try out that dark spell. But it seems like that where the entire game has built up to this. You've been slowly uncovering more and more of mementos. Something is wrong down there. You can feel it. Something is at the heart of distortions. And you get to the bottom, and what you discover is essentially that is the god, it's the chalice of god, which turns into god itself. Like, well, I wouldn't say the god, just is a god. Tanite chunks, I've got a lot of those. What do I need to upgrade you? Twinkling Titanite. Okay. Okay, so you're fully upgraded. In my own time, I will take a gander at all the stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to take some time 
uh, once the episode's over to look through my weapons since this thing's already fully upgraded and its damage is not that good. I, I'm not going to be upgrading this with anything so I may want to look into changing its attribute. I don't think I can do that with you, can I? No. I need to find some way where I can change it into a holy weapon so that it levels up with my faith because it will just be better that way. So I have my fire thing which means I can go here and get two two guys done in one episode, hopefully. Where would I go after this? I guess I should continue with the place I was at before. Change you to you. Yeah, I guess I'll continue with the windmill place in order to get to the Medusa lady. Oh no. There we go. So like I was saying before, the final boss is like this god creature and he is the culmination of all of the game. You've built up to him over hours, a hundred hours, because typically Persona playthroughs go through like a hundred hours. So you've built up over a hundred hours in the game and this is the end result. He is the end result of that. I'm going to have to tan the Persona 5 Royal now that I talk about it like this. Oh god, no. Oh, I'm so screwed. And I was just getting back into Days Gone as well. And I wanted to play Prey. Ah, oh, Jesus. There's just not enough time in a day. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, I'll get to that. I'll continue with what I was doing. Great magic. Yes! Oh, no! They are almost so many of these goddamn things, and I'm almost dead. Wow, I think I'm also out of. Yep, no, 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 I've got one left. I uh, will need to find some more poison ones, so. There you go, once I get past this area, poison will be less of a problem. Granted, I will have to come back here once I get the key. I didn't equip my new uh, miracle. I'll, I'll equip it later. It'll be fine. There you are. One more. One more. And there's like another one of these later down there. There you are. I thought you were further away. No, didn't mean to do that. It's fine, it's fine. So long as the freaking healing keeps up, I will be able to just outlast the damage. Maybe I should try some lightning against these idiots. And again, if I do a full volley, it won't take long to kill them off. I think there's only two of them. Because over there, I think, is... Yeah, over there is where my bonfire is, and I'll be able to get that. Hell, I may even be able to get the... <laughs> whatever it is, the windmill place done. Once I've done with this. Scraps of life, sounds like a miracle. Very nice. I will say, doing a miracle run is very intriguing, because it's something I always avoid doing. So seeing all this stuff actually gets me excited, because it's stuff I never look twice at. Like, I just ignore in a normal playthrough. Yeah, there you are. Oh, kill him off. Okay, good. 
Ah, crap, forgot about you. Ah, I forgot there was one there as well. Move out the way. Oh god, where is it? Where is it? Move. Die. Die. Run. Oh no. Quickly, light the branch. Light, light it. Whew. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're safe. We're safe. Oh wait, do I have to rest? Oh god, please don't say I have to rest. Then again, even if I, I lit it, so I should be able to just travel here from the other one. Anyway. The impenetrable sword. Just take the damn sword out of there, then you don't have to worry about durability at all. Yes, child Victor. You did very good. So I feel like I got across what I wanted to with the whole moments and scenes thing. What it takes to build a good moment. I will say in books, I do believe it's harder to do so. Because thinking back on all the books I've read, I can't think of any like big conclusions. Like massive, they're built up to this kind of conclusion, big battles. So that's... Moments aren't just big battles, it's a significant scene. However, quite typically a lot of that happens in a fight, or a lead up to a fight. It could be like in Black Clover, when Yami is talking to Dante, and he's like, switches over, I can't do this by myself, I need you to help Asta. And it's a massive moment because you can he's relying on Asta. Oster wants to help, he wants to be relied on, he wants to move, he wants to do something and he forces himself to get up and move and it's just such a brilliant moment because before Yami said this he couldn't move, he wanted to but he couldn't however after after Yami said he wanted him to get up, he wanted his, he needed his help he forces himself up he forces himself past his limits, Oster does which is massive. Not only because Yami is relying on him, but because he is actively pushing past his own needs. Because he wanted to get up himself, of course, but he couldn't do it. And yet, now that Yami needs him, he can. He even gave up his arm so that he can fight. So that he can be, you know, a, a, an, a he can assist Captain Yami. He gave up his arm for it. Pretty sure I can take off both of this dude's arms. Watch out for that, because despite the fact he has a stump, if you're too close, it will still hit you. It's not like a phantom limb, where he has the full limb, he has the full axe. Look, that didn't do anything. But it will still hit you if you're not, if you get too close. I'm trying to take off his other arm. Plus, you have to watch for when he gets to half health, because he gets... Two new abilities. Oh, I think he's grown it back. Yeah. Uh, I really wanted to take his arm off. I think I may just get away from you a bit, see what my lightning does. Wrong thing, wrong. In fact. Oh, yeah, you're undead. No. Ah, oh, I hate that move. So hard to know where it is. It's like a cone in front of you. So you have to get like to the side of it. That's a three hit. Wrong thing. Oh god, I forgot how bad the cast speed was for this. Now that I've got the new one. I really need to do something about that. Drink. Okay. Get over here. That's all the peas. Ah, crap, I thought I would be able to... I was so close. I was like a few... No, no, that's going to kill me. Yeah, that was going to kill me. As you can see, the rotten isn't hard. He's just kind of annoying, because he has a lot of health. If you time your attacks right, you can avoid him just fine. I just wanted to mix things up a little bit. But... I'm going to keep you there. Oh, I have two of you. Intriguing. Uh, I need a lot of experience, uh, intelligence, but I'm not doing that. 
Heavenly Thunder, I'm going to try you out. Great heal, great heal, great magic weapon. God damn it, that's an intelligence. I guess it would be great holy weapon if it was miracle based. It's fine. I'm even more concerned about my timing now since I've got like 17 days left until um, Thingy comes out. Okay, pretty good damage, I think. Okay, two more, and then I have Soul Appease, which I have two of, which takes quite a while to cast, and with already a slow casting speed. Definitely not good. Ah, damn it. I think I might be dead here. Tap the buttons! Oh no, I'm alive! Avoid uh, you. Am I healing? No, no, I'm not healing. Heal up. Heavenly thunder. Thunder. Not thunder. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Just get all this out of the way before I have to actually fight the damn thing. Okay, you're all the way over there. Nice. Does still hit from pretty far away. Do not go over there. I'm going to trap myself. What am I doing? Ooh. No. Um. There we go. Ooh. Wait, do I have any more Heavenly Soul? No, and that's gonna kill me. Yeah. Ran into her arm. God damn it. Well, not her arm, it's like. It's just a mass of bodies, it doesn't really have a gender. It's everything in there. So now that I need to play Persona 5 again. Well, Persona 5. I also need to finish Persona 5 Strike. Uh, I haven't played that in a while. I had never completed that game. I kind of stopped. I just kind of stopped. I kind of... I think I did it about time. I think I was just burned out on long games in general. And it was a bad idea to go into a Persona game. Brendan, it's not like a full-on Persona game. But it had a lot more in it than I was expecting. And I think it just burned me out. So it was a bad decision of mine to go into it when I did. So I should definitely re-go at it again. That was a bad decision. Right, you. Ooh. Okay, wait for my stamina to come back. One more. Oh no. Okay. So I just barely have enough time to avoid an attack if I'm good with my timing. And depending on the attack, because that one has a big swing. No, I should have stepped further away. This one works from a distance. Yeah, let's get some distance. Why do I always keep going over it? I keep dying when I go over it. It's a bad decision. Oh, god damn it. Yeah. Activate you. I think that's all my heavenly stuff done. So I can get through over half its health with just miracles. Which good since Miracle Run. Wanna try doing miracles whenever and however I can. Well as much as I can. 
Come on, come on, do something big. There we go. I was waiting for you to do that. I'm hoping there's like a cooldown between you when you can do it. Although there's no guarantee on that. I don't know whether that's true or not. I want to get over here so I have a clear exit because it decides to pull out the big thing again. Ooh. Oh, he <laughs> caught me right down the middle. Good thing this is a game. I would have been split in half. Good thing it wasn't a cutscene, otherwise I may have been actually split in half, depending on the game. Ah, uh, I forgot you'd do that. Oh no, I have this! What am I doing? That's why I got that in the first place. One more, one more. Ooh, there we go. Okay, all dead. I forgot I had those. I should really get some more of those. They're not fully killed with... There we go, fire seed. I was trying to think of a good, like... I can't really think of the best example for a good moment. If I, Every time I think of it, I keep coming back to when Luffy's facing Luchi and he gets up. But I don't want to... I really don't want to put that because I feel like I can think of a better moment that encompasses what I'm thinking. I, I will say another good moment is... Ichigo in the Fallbring arc, which I don't know why everyone bashes on it. It's amazing. It's an amazing arc. It is when Ichigo finds out that Grimjow has been lying to him, Grimjow stabs him and takes his power. The actual stabbing, I don't mind. It's fine. The moment I'm talking about is when uh, Ichigo shouts and tells Grimjow, for forcefully just says, give me back my power. It's mine. Give it back. Because despite the fact that fear is taking over him, the fact that, despite the fact that he has no chance of getting it back, the fact the fact that he is, despite the fact that he is essentially useless, harmless right now, and the person in front of him took what was his, he is screaming at him to give it him back, that it belongs to him, because he does not let himself be overcome with um, despair. Like, he very easily could have, but he doesn't let himself, which I loved that moment for Ichigo. I think it's amazing. You could pick quite a few out of Bleach to uh, say is like the best moment. Vasto Lordi is amazing. Um, I, like I just said, the one I just mentioned. I'm not going to mention that one that's in the manga. It's going to come up soon. It's going to come up real soon based on how the episodes are going. In fact, a lot of good stuff is coming now, think about it. Uh, the next, after maybe two episodes, the next like four, three to maybe four will be amazing. I was also very wrong when I was judging um, how far ahead I would need to be in Chainsaw Man. They do not care. Like, the first episode is one volume. I know, not one volume. The first episode is one chapter. The next episode is like five to f four to five chapters. It makes it so I can't judge how far I need to be ahead in the series to stay ahead in the manga. I can presume where they're going to end it, like the uh, first season. I, I assume I know where they're going to do it, just based on where would leave the biggest impact and people wanting more, because that's surely what they want in order to get approved for a second season. So I know where they should end it if they want that. I don't know if they're going to end it there though. What I'm talking about is, it's a spoiler, but I'm just going to say several people get shot. It's basically all I can say without spoiling anything. 
I'm not going to mention who it is, who they are. That would be, well, spoiling. Like I said, going to avoid that. Coming. Oh, what? Seriously? They were doing so little damage before. And I was studying the other dude, so he couldn't have hit me at the same time. I don't know. I'm slowly building up my manga collection of JJK. I'm up to volume 8, which I believe is past where the season 1 ended. I really hope so, because I really want to read ahead. Like, it's very intriguing to me. Now that I know... Well, I don't know where Yuji goes. But I know how certain events unfold. Just because of spoilers and crap. I don't like spoilers, but... I will admit, in JJK's case... I will say it's actually a good thing. Since it's got me very intrigued in the story. Oh, no. Ah! It's got me very intrigued in the story, essentially. So I will say it's working to its own benefit. Avoid you. Ah, crap. I thought you've already, you would have already jumped down. I guess I was wrong. Ah, oh, that's poison. That's poison. Yeah. Yeah, let's take you. Take you. Are you undead? Can my undead spell hurt you? You don't have heads. Then again, this doesn't really work on the undead, it works on hollows. No, okay, does not work on you. Good to know. You're mannequins, actually. Why would I think it worked on you? You're not alive to begin with. That was a stupid idea. Okay. Now that I'm outside of the good, I should probably change my thing from Holy Appease to Thunder Spear or Lightning Spear. Oh no. Uh... Oh, God damn it! Okay. It's fine, it's fine. I have been keeping up with Rick and Morty, which has been fun. I really want more episodes. I do very much want the story to progress, which... It's kind of been stagnant, kind of, the first six episodes, but now that Portal Travel's fixed, I'm hoping it gets into a bit of the story aspect. And I'm not sure if it will or not. Change you to you. I need more lightning spells. Ah, God damn it. kind of weird how they changed it because in the early seasons his portal gun is now I'm just thinking about Rick and Morty now so his portal gun is more like a it's like a sphere conducting electricity that's what it looks like visually however later in seasons it looks like fluid that's you know roaming around in the little glass above it which we know that it is because um, Rick uses it to Mark what Moddy is doing to make sure he's not using the polygon without permission. Are you stealing my souls? Here we go. Kill you off. Ah, I need the goddamn light. Light to you. Yeah, so I reckon they changed it. It, it wasn't meant to show like. Well, they reckon that I, I reckon they changed it to visually support it because we know there's a dis, there's well, kind of a set fluid set of mat 
that the portal gun can hold before he has to refill it. Oh no, 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 no. Forgot about that. Can I reset it, maybe? Maybe? God damn it. Wait for you, I'll get you. Mannequin mask. Which is weird since you don't seem to have a face. Yeah, you definitely don't even have a head. <laughs> I think because I got to the top, I kind of phased through him. Normally, I would just stop there and he would stop kicking me down. Okay. Mine. Kill you. Oh. 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 I'm screwed. Oh no! I'm not screwed. I'm not screwed. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that cut. Uh, I don't want to continue when I had no idea what I was talking about since I completely lost it. I have no idea what I was going on about. I can't remember even what I was talking about. And I don't, I don't just want to continue doing that because it's... Uh, what I call it? Rude? It's not interesting at the very least. So I did think of something to talk about though. I said I thought of a couple of things, but I um, settled on talking about stuff other people love that I don't really find intriguing. Like, a lot of people love Lord of the Rings, and that's fine. I don't mind it, it's good, I, lo I like it, all the dragons, magic and stuff. However, I prefer Hobbit. I, I really prefer the Hobbit over Lord of the Rings. Uh, no, let's go this way. Yeah, I prefer the Hobbit all the way. I prefer the freaking Bilbo over Frodo. I just prefer everything about it in comparison to Lord of the Rings, to be honest. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Almost died there. That was terrifying. Just kill you off. Ah, oh, crap. Why did that one do so much less? Yeah, there we go. That's the one that just blows out of nowhere and kills you. I need to go down there to get my salt. I don't even know if I have anything in there. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. Yeah, that's the one that just comes out. No one kills you. I tried to do the Heavenly Thunder, but it would have been easy. To... Then again, I was worried about the uh, chest and its thing. The reason that I start talking about um, things I don't like is because I thought of... Well, I was reminded of Gurren Lagan. Gurren Lagan. And loads of people love Gurren Lagan. And I can't finish that show. It's an anime, for those who don't know, in case those are wondering. I can't finish it. I, I... The furthest I've gotten is where... Uh, the character dies. You'll know who I'm talking about if you've seen it. I don't want to spoil it in case someone has seen it. Because a lot of people love it, so... If you haven't seen it, I would recommend going to watch it. Just in case you're one of the people that does really enjoy it. It's just that I personally just... I can't do it. So a certain character dies, like, it will be the biggest death in the series. It's like halfway through the series, episode 7, I think, or episode 8, it's one of them. And I just, I can't. That's, the furthest I've got is like episode 8, it's the episode past where the person dies. There we go. Yeah, it's the episode pass where the uh, person dies and 
the main character is feeling all sad and stuff, and then he has he's like building tunneling inside the walls, and the girl is trying to help him. Not the like the main girl that he first meets, like the second one that was trapped. So she she tries to help him out, and it's just I just can't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you had a grab attack. Don't destroy my chest. Ah, oh, crap, you destroyed my chest. I thought it was supposed to, yeah, god damn it. I don't know if I can get that back, like at all. Ow. There we go. Yeah, so a lot of people love the anime, but I just, I can't get behind it. Hey, dude. Yes, yes, yes. It's intriguing, no doubt, but I can't finish it. I don't know what it is it either, because it's not like it's a bad story. It's intriguing. It's cool. You know, giant robots and stuff. I do really want to get to the end so I can see the anti-spiral and... Topa Toka... Topa Toka Gurren Lagan, I believe it's called. It's like the massive version. But I just... After the dude's death, I just can't get past anymore. It's not that I even cared about the dude, it's not that that matters. In fact, I didn't care. So I don't have long left on this episode. I'm sorry I keep cutting it. I keep having to go away for a bit. Jeez, uh, I, oh, I hate this jump. Because you have to... Ah, crap. I hate that jump. Uh, it'll be fine, though. Oh, uh, I don't think there's anything interesting. There may be a miracle... I'm still mad about the chest breaking. As kind of weird and all over the place as this episode has been, I do think it's better than some of my other ones, because I think I am getting better with Dark Souls 2. Because to be honest, Dark Souls 2 takes me out of it a bit, quite a bit. What, what I mean by that is, it's very easy for me to get kind of distracted and forget what I'm talking about or just straight up not be able to come up with a topic at all like not be able to come up with anything to talk about so I do think I'm getting better at doing it I'm getting better at getting through Dark Souls with something to talk about because I think Dark Souls in general is just kind of hard to run through without anything in mind a lot of sorcery stuff god I wish I could use some of it but Miracle Run or so, faith run, not miracles. Yeah, yeah, it is miracles. Lightning is miracles. So now I just need magic weapon. Let's get you petrified something. I do need to turn those into the birds. It'll be fine though. Cause see, since I'm getting better. I think I'll just continue to get better. I'm hoping so anyway, so that I can better... Ah, oh, crap, don't be... Ah, oh, crap, no, I don't have enough health to survive a mimic attack. Ah, uh, God damn, that hurt. It's fine though. So, on the topic of what I was talking about before with Gurren Lagan, I also need to mention one other thing that everyone seems to love, which I personally don't care for. I reckon it was like because I've watched it so early into my kind of anime starting phase, I guess. It was like in the first year or two of me starting to watch anime. I started watching it in 2014. But what it is, the series it is, is called Gias. So I might need to just rewatch the series, but for me, I don't 
because the I understand everyone loves it. I, I understand it's good series. I just don't personally. I wouldn't put it in my top ten or even top twenty. Hell, it may not even go in top fifty to be honest. It's kind of weird to think that it wouldn't even go in top fifty. Top fifty, but everyone has their own preferences. Personally, I prefer the whole kind of simplistic main character. You know, Luffy is my favorite. MC, I love Asta from Black Clover, I love Naruto. Ichigo is kind of a... This heals you by the way, this, this water. Ichigo is kind of a one-off since he's not as simplistic. He's still a kind of simplistic person. But I would say he's more rational and more mature than the other two. I did not say they aren't mature. Luffy definitely matures, especially after the time skip, because he acts more like a captain. He has their lives under his belt to worry about, not just his own life. It's why he fights so hard. But I would say Ichigo is more mature in just the general sense of it. Because he doesn't actively push himself into situations where he puts himself or his friends at risk. He just kind of gets forced into said situations. And he responds accordingly. I believe Lingering Dragon Crest is a spell thing. Yeah, extends length as well. Ah, oh, God, it's two of you. Before we go in there and fight Medusa, let's first go over here. Finish off what's in this area, shall we? Oh, someone just uploaded a video. I'm totally not Mark about the Wolverine arc, the title being the best arc in Bleach. Uh, he, he says I'm serious in the title, so I presume he's not joking about it, and to be honest, I'm, I, I, I go with him on it. Well, I haven't finished Thousand Year Blood War yet, so I can't make a comment on it, but all up to Fulbring, even including Soul Society, I'd say Fulbring is my favourite arc. It is short, it is compact, it displays Ichigo's maturity, like I was talking about. It is my favourite arc, I'd say. That may change once I finish the Thousand Year Blood War, but as of currently, it's better than anything else for me, including Soul Society. The villains are really good. I'd say it brings a new dynamic to the villains of Bleach, because before um, Tsukushima and Grimjall, I guess, but I can't Tsukushima and more so as the. God damn it. I very much can't Tsukushima as the enemy of the Fulbring arc until the very end. So Tsukushima is really. His ability is terrifying, the, the effect it has on Ichigo as well. Because he turns everyone against Ichigo. They're not even like against him, which is makes it even worse. If they were like fighting him, he could put it down to similar to fighting puppets however they're not fighting him they truly believe that he's just not himself that he knows Tsukushima and that he's just not behaving right so they're not fighting him they're just acting like themselves which is terrifying because you can't you don't know what uh, how to help him you don't know how to fix him they believe Tsukushima is a friend when really he's the reason they're acting the way they are I don't know why I keep running through that, I just keep dying. It's a bad decision. So it offers a new dynamic which hasn't really been explored as far as Ichigo is concerned. Like it happens with Momo and Toshiro, because Momo is turned against the rest of them. However, Ichigo has no connection to her. Therefore, it's not really an impact on him. Then again, neither is the Solsky Eyes and stuff until the very end of the uh, Soul Society arc. So that's kind of its own little story contained within Bleach and uh, concerning the Soul Reapers. I hate you. So much a little mannequin. I just need to go kill the other mannequins. Finish off this area and then next episode we can go fight Medusa. So I'll probably record one more after this and then I'm going to record Horizon. I'll probably stick to recording a lot of Horizon and may increase the Horizon uploads.
Yes, I may increase the Horizon uploads so that I can get Horizon out there and get it finished up. Because thing is, is in 17 days and I do not have... I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it in time. I have it pre-ordered so I'll be playing it like the day it releases. So it's already their digital deli deluxe edition already pre-ordered, it's ready for me. Going to be downloaded once it gets to the day. I think it like downloads the night before. Or does it download on the day itself? Can't quite remember how the digital ones work. Ah, screw it. I'm just gonna go this way. Screw it. Yeah, screw it. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Double choke. Mm. I'm ending there. You see, you saw us get to there. You know, if you go around there, there's ladders. You can go down to that. I'm ending things there. That's it's pissing me off, and I don't think I have long left of this episode anyway. So, like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.